welcome to DEF CON. I'm uh, the Dark Tangent, and this is DEF CON 18. We've been, in, uh, we've been in many hotels that have been demolished or uh, you know, blown up or, or kicked out of, but this is the first one that's uh, gone bankrupt. <laughs> not, not because of us. Um, so yeah, that was a little bit of an excitement about a month ago when that all started breaking. And then also, there's a, there's, I'll just go over a couple brief things before we really get into the technical stuff. Um, this year, how many of you people have uh, gotten onto the wireless network? <laughs> there's like one dude back there. There's like, okay, there's two. <laughs> hey, so we, we spent a lot of energy, and Locke and the network team spent a lot of energy to try to roll out this WPA2 encrypted network. And uh, the way it's architected, the two networks don't touch until it goes out the gateway to the internet and all of that. So, so the goal was, you know, how many people here think the AT&T network is saturated and sucks? Like yes, everybody. Yes. So, I mean, if you're trying to take a picture, send it to a friend, you're trying to blog, whatever, you just can't. I think last year I was trying to stream a 30-second clip and it took me two hours. So that was, you know, useless. So this year, we wanted to do WPA2 so you can get it in your phone, your laptop, whatever, and it's all encrypted and, uh, and at least you feel safe about streaming or doing whatever you want. And because of that, hoping that you guys would take advantage of the extra bandwidth uh, and this capacity, we, we bump bandwidth to 75 megabits full duplex, which is by, by far the fastest we've ever had. I think last year we were about 20 megabits. So we got a lot of speed this year. And uh, maybe next year, if we use it this year, I'll bump it to 100 next year, which would be pretty sweet. So try to take advantage of the, uh, the encrypted network. The instructions on how to do it and install the certificate are in your program. And uh, so that's one big change this year. Uh, the other big change is like, where did everybody come from? There's like, <laughs> there's a lot more of you this year than last year. And, uh, and Joe's got some funny stories about the problems that's caused. Um, <laughs> Personal problems. <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> so um, we rearranged the floor plan this year to do better flow, wider hallway. And uh, we thought that this was going to work out really well. We bought 1,000 uh, extra badges than we did last year. We, we thought we had this down. And uh, so many extra people showed up. I don't think the wider hallway really makes a difference. <laughs> it's like that worked for like the first 50 people. And I go, yeah, so we're aware of these problems and, and have contingency plans. Um, so new floor plan, we're putting all the content down here. We're putting all the, a lot of the action up there so that people aren't hopefully walking back and forth across everybody. We've got the, the new network. We have a crap ton of new contests. And so as we say, DEF CON's what you make of it, there's a lot of new contests, a lot of new blood out there. And so if you get the time, stop by, check out some of the contests. I'm doing one I've wanted, I've wanted to do for three years. And every year I'd procrastinate and I'd get sucked into the vortex of con planning and I'd never do my contest. So finally I'm doing it. It's this tamper evident contest. You get these boxes. You have to get past the seals on the outside. You have to get through the seals inside. You have to tamper with the contents of some information inside. And you have to seal it all back up and make it look like it was never opened or messed with. And uh, because it's kind of like lock picking and it's kind of like some other physical security stuff. And I thought it'd just be really cool because you see these seals and you're thinking to yourself, there's no way that can be secure. You know, that little symbol on your power meter, does that little lead grommet with a wire really, does that really work? I don't know, but you guys are going to find out for me. <laughs> and then you're going to get points for scoring and teaching everybody how you did it. It's going to be an educational event, so we can all learn how this works. I think that would be really cool. And a lot of other people are doing interesting contests. So take some time out, just drift through there, maybe get involved in something. That would be really cool. Um, what else do we want to say before we uh, start revealing the innards of the badge? There's... Um, <clears throat> How many people checked out Thursday night, sort of the soft roll yesterday? Was that okay, not okay? Give you guys something to do? Yeah, I, I kind of like that idea of, of soft to start to socialize and, and hang out where it's not a lot of stuff happening. We think we're going to keep that in the future. Um, what else is there? I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. It's the biggest con ever. So back at the Lexus Park at the height of the dot-com boom, like the year before the bubble burst and everything crashed and everybody disappeared, we had about 7,000 people there, 7,200 people. And I talked to registration and we just surpassed that. So we're now back where we were right before the bubble burst. 
but in a hotel like twice the size or three times the size or something and not on fire outside getting heat stroke. Um, so that was really cool. So we've really come back. And the difference now is people aren't coming here because they saw the movie Hackers or something and they're not on rollerblades and, you know. <laughs> I think the people here actually are really into it. So, so that's really cool. And I want to thank you all for, uh, for coming here and hanging out and checking out this session. This is uh, longer than usual because Joe really wanted to get into more of the hardware hacking side. So the first half, you'll really hear the story and some of the stuff that's going on. But, but the second part, if you're really into kind of more of the details, right, you're going to get down more into the nitty gritty. And the thing that's interesting is when we first started doing hardware hacking badges um, the very first year, it was just to do something different. Nobody had really done it. We wanted to be different. And if you look at the progression of our badges, every year they've gotten a little bit more and a little bit more crazy. And while that was happening, the hardware hacking village was growing. More people are getting into hardware. Now, like, every con has a hardware hacking badge. So many more people are hacking hardware. It's sort of like we've incubated that a bit, and we've got people thinking about it. And that's super cool, because that was the intent, right? We shifted some people's focus to start looking at hardware and software. And, like, it's four or five years later, and it's really caught on. So anyway, we're pretty, we're pretty proud about that. We, we really like the idea of incubating ideas and, and getting it out there. So, so it would maybe be safe to say that um, there might be things different next year, right? Where, where should we shift attention? Um, and that's something we've been thinking a lot about because we think the hardware stuff is, is really taken on a life of its own, and that's great. So maybe now we need to shine the light somewhere else, get something else going. So Joe and I, have been, we've been talking about that for quite a while. So we could always use your feedback. What do you think's not gotten enough attention? RFID. RFID. Yeah. <laughs> As if Chris Padgett hasn't spent his life thinking yeah. about that and major malfunction and stuff. But uh, I don't know if you want to walk around with a big block of aerogel, you know, <laughs> around your neck. Or maybe a CNC milling machine or something around your neck. And I hear mass spectrometers have come way down in size. <laughs> and so... And that's the funny thing is, uh, just as a side note, I have a friend whose wife bought one of these new miniature mass spectrometers. They're actually getting pretty inexpensive. And so what do you do with it? Well, you fuck around with it. And she's like, um, yeah, Fiji water, not so much Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, how come my red wine has sugar water in it? You know? And so, I mean, that's really cool. She's just running everything through the spectrometer and finding completely opposite results than what you're supposed to find in your food stuffs. So, uh, so that's pretty cool. And um, next year, I'm probably going to have a tamper, uh, a data destruction contest. I've been accumulating ways to destroy data, but uh, that's not involving the badge. <laughs> Unless they're made of C4. Yeah, and uh, and I would like to announce a contest um, right now related to the badge, and that is we have past badges dating back to DEF CON like three. We have a whole bunch of weird badges. The metal badges, remember those? They were like cast metal and weighed like five pounds and the black stuff came off your neck. And Well, I've got a tub of that and it weighs like 500 pounds. And I want to get rid of some of these badges because they're just filling the DEF CON office and they're really hard to move. So I'm going to try to find a way to donate past badges to artists who can do something with them. So if you can think of a project you can do with hundreds of old DEF CON badges, I'll ship them to you. The deal is you've got to bring it here and put it on display. So, so if you've got something in mind, I'd love to help you out, and I'd love to have a cool display of all the various year's uh, badges. So with that said, cool. yeah, it's going to be pretty Well, it kind of reminded me of what you did when you had uh, all, the broken ones. The, all the broken ones, and you did that art project in San Francisco. That was pretty cool. OK, so with that said, I want to pass it off to Joe Smooth, <laughs> AKA Kingpin. <laughs> and uh, we're going to get this uh, party started. So here, let me pass it off to Kingpin. Thanks a lot, guys. See you around. Yo, yo, yo. I'm going to wait for my slides. Because they're, they're good pictures on there. Oh, yeah. The slides look better than I do anyway. All right. Here we are again for the fifth year in a row behind the scenes of the DEF CON badge. Uh, let's go. So in case you don't know, my name is Joe Grand. AKA Kingpin. <laughs> AKA Kingpin. Yeah. And um, when I don't have to go out in public, I usually look like that, but I shaved my mustache off and got a haircut to, uh, to look a little better. Um, I'm an electrical engineer by trade and by hobby and by lifestyle. It's what I do. I hack hardware, I break hardware, and I design stuff. 
And uh, let's see. So how many of you guys were at DEF CON 14? Yeah. Yeah. That was, a, that was actually more than I thought it would be. <laughs> is that the limited edition gold? Yeah, oh yeah. So this is the, um, so I'm gonna do a little retrospective and, and each year I wanna see how many people are coming. Cause I realized when I was, when I started designing this year's badge and like started writing the article and stuff and putting together the documentation, I was like, you know, a lot of these people probably haven't even seen the past ones. So they're just coming into this with like, you know, the end without seeing the progression. So yeah, this is the, uh, the limited edition gold solder mask that we just made a few of to test it out. Paint it red. Yeah. Well, well, the gold one, we always try to do something new. So what was the deal with that year? It was gold. was the new thing, right? Yeah. D I'd, I'd never seen gold solder mask before. And the, and the factory was like, we have this tub of something that says gold sand. And, and we're like, yeah, let's try it and see what it looks like. So I don't know if anyone else has seen circuit boards that look like that. But you know, every year, we're trying to do something different. What about DEF CON 15? Yeah. yeah. The numbers are growing. With the trippy uh, optical wave thing. Yeah, so this was the, um, this was the uh, uh, scrolling text message with the capacitive touch sensing buttons and you could set your own messages and, and uh, do all sorts of stuff. Persistence of vision, people hacked it and like wrote games for it. It was cool. And there's like a lot of swear yeah, words going year, across it. That's the year it really took off, I think. Yeah, yeah, the first year was sort of like, oh cool, electronic badge, awesome. But then pe when people started expecting it, it was sort of like, hmm, now we have to do something cool. Oh, actually, yeah, this one also had like a bunch of 802.15.4 slash ZigBee wireless support um, that was unpopulated and accelerometer support that uh, we gave out a lot of components for people to hack on, but no one ever did anything with it. I think one guy put in the ZigBee. Yeah, yeah. DEF CON 16. Is that more or less? I can't tell if that's more or less people came to DEF CON 16. I think it was about more, like by two. Yeah. <laughs> So this one was the infrared, um, wow, that's a great picture up there. <laughs> this was the invisible badge. Well, no, you need the, you need the, yeah, this one's stuck in customs. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first year we had customs problems, that's, yeah. Um, is there a way to adjust the picture? Because I have a lot of pictures and if they all look like that, this is gonna be a really shitty presentation. <laughs> <laughs> well, we jump forward one and see if it's just the slider, yeah. Now go back. Okay, we got to mess with the brightness, contrast. Yeah. Well, theoretically, something. we've got some goon room proctors that can tweak the uh, projectors. So if we have goon room proctors that can tweak the projectors. So, yeah, someone has to. Doesn't someone have a remote control and they can just like mess with the projector? Yeah. Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you just have to use your imagination here. But um, this was a really gigantic badge. And uh, we had. Um, an infrared receiver and transmitter and S SD card support, secure digital card support. So you could like put files on an SD card and then transmit wares to your friends. And uh, it, it, it worked sometimes. There was a lot of challenges with this one. It was hard because um, you have to support like all the different SD card types because you never know what someone's gonna bring. So we had this gigantic battery on there and like people were complaining that their neck was getting sore. Oh, and then all the people that put the battery in backwards which is kind of funny at a hacker conference because they come to me with burned fingers. And they're like, your badge doesn't work. I said, look on the battery holder. It shows you where the positive side is. <laughs> so yeah, that was, a, that was fun. Um, what else? We had a TV be gone uh, mode in that one. So if you didn't have an SD card, the thing would just like turn off TV so you could hold it.